frozen trace of the love we brave And I can see your breath, but with your matches left, burn the rest of me to take an embers in the
stand, please? So, uh, good evening to everybody and to this special occasion, this wedding ceremony of Emilio and Christina in a very special setting. Don't be distracted by my rel relatives out the back there. <laughs> They're beautiful like I am, so be nice to them. But you're very welcome. Our service this evening, our ceremony is sacred and reverential, but it's also very human and down to earth. And to that end, we invite you to just be your normal self. If you feel like laughing, laugh. If you feel like crying, cry. Just enter into the spirit of the ceremony so that it has meaning for you and it is purposeful and it is absolutely magnificent. So let us begin by bowing our heads and placing ourselves in God's presence. So dear family and friends of Christina and Emilio, we gather this evening amongst the majestic creatures of this, the Bronx Zoo, to witness and to celebrate the drawing together of two separate lives. Now, two people in love do not live in isolation from the wider embrace of our community, and to achieve love is not to be absolved of social responsibility. And so it is that the institution of marriage is ordained as a public recognition of private love, the private experiences of love, and as a sanctifying of both parties to its higher purpose. And at the same time, it represents the desire of Christina and Emilio to share their joy with all of us gathered here this evening We are now come to a part of the ceremony. We refer to this as an understanding or a vision of marriage. <coughs> it's a polite way of saying that you guys know what you're doing. <laughs> and I must observe there is as much distance between the two of you as there is water between New York Harbor and the west of Ireland. Okay. <laughs> a little closer. Okay. <laughs> Christina and Emilio. Your marriage relation offers you the highest and most intimate experience of love. A growing bond of affection, trust and mutual concern can bring you both into a much deeper life, a much fuller life than either of you can achieve on your own. And as you share with each other your creative differences, May your life together become much richer, more complete, and more soul-satisfying. Marriage, in this sense, is a uniting on all the levels of your being, body, mind, soul, and spirit. And the longer both of you live together, the more you will continue to develop and grow as individuals, and at the same time, the more you will have to contribute to this relationship. For the very nature of love is always to want to give to another and to feel great love and great joy in that giving and of course to feel an equal amount of love when that love is given back to you. How true is this of the married love that brings you both together this evening in the company of your family and your friends. This love will open to you a much deeper way and a much more special way of finding out what it is to be sensitive to each other, to embrace and to care for each other as you respond much more fully to the needs and desires of each other. And so in this mutual growing together, you will gain an increasing respect for each other as persons. And always remember that married love never seeks to dominate or possess. And so, Emilio and Christina, as you stand here this evening in the presence of your family and friends, we ask you to remember that love, loyalty, and trust 
are the foundations of a happy relationship and as you strive to fulfill the commitments that you're about to make here in the exchange of your vows, we pray that your life together will be increasingly filled with joy, satisfaction and peace. If you are now ready to enter into this union, I will ask you firstly to declare your consent to do so and then to exchange your vows. Okay? Okay. So, Amelia, do you take Christine as your wife, promising to tenderly care for her, to respect her individuality, to cherish her as she is, and to love her with fidelity? I do. And do you, Christina, take Emilio to be your husband, promising to tenderly care for him, to respect his individuality, to cherish him as he is, and to love him with fidelity? I do. Now, before the vows, the couple have a request from all of you guys. Special request. They're looking for a gift. Now, before you kind of lose the run of yourselves, I know you've been to Macy's and such places like that, <laughs> and the little gift bags. But this is a special gift, and you all have it. It's called a blessing. And the response to the question I pose before you will be, we will. Will each one gathered here this evening do all that is in your power to support and encourage Christina and Amelia in fulfilling the promises they make here this evening in your presence? We will. We will. Now the vows through which you will now accept each other as husband and wife contain no hidden power in and of themselves, but rather it is to the extent that they express in words your intention and commitment that they find a deeper meaning. <clears throat> so if you repeat after me. I, Emilio. I, Emilio. Take you, Christina. Take you, Christina. To be my wife. To be my wife. From this moment forward. From this moment forward. To join with you. To join with you. And to share. And to share. All that is to come all that is to come to give and to receive to give and to receive to speak and to listen to speak and to listen to inspire and respond to re inspire and respond and in all our life together and in all our life together to be loyal to you to be loyal to you with all my being with all my being i christina take you immediately I, Christina, take you, Emilio, to be my husband. To be my husband. From this moment forward. From this moment forward. To join with you. To join with you. And to share. And to share. All that is to come. All that is to come. To give and to receive. To give and to receive. To speak and to listen. To speak and to listen. To inspire and to respond. To inspire and to respond. And in all of our life together. And in all of our life together. To be loyal to you. To be loyal to you. With all my being. With all my being. That's wonderful. Um, Let me give them a round of applause. <laughs> Amelia, if you will hold Christina's ring, and Christine, if you would hold mm -hmm. Amelia's ring. Rings are an ancient symbol, blessed and simple. Round the hour, like the sun, like the eye, like the arms that embrace. Circles the air for love that is given comes around and around again. Christina and Emilio, may these rings remind you that your love like the sun illuminates, that your love like the eye must see clearly, and that your love like the arms that embrace is a grace unto our world. Amen. So who wishes to go first? I'll go first. You go first. You're the boss. You go first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you just say, Christina, as I give you this ring. Christina, as I give you this ring. I give you my love. I give you my love. That's good. Emilio, as I give you this ring. Emilio, as I give you this ring. I give you my love. I give you my love. Very good. So how are we doing so far? <laughs> Let us pray. 
O God, grant your blessings now to what we have performed here. Make this moment fruitful to Christina and Emilio through an added devotion unto each other, through a new inner strength, and through a new sense of the sacredness of all life. We do not ask that you be kept from sorrow and trial, but rather that you will learn from these and be stronger because of them. Nor do we ask that all life be easy and profitable unto you, but rather that you will find life good and worth living. May all of your tasks in life, including the tasks of being human, be much easier to accomplish because you, are brought, you approach these tasks together. Continue to be quick to forgive each other, quick to laugh, and quick to cry, and quick to enjoy life. May each of you so value the personality of the other that you will not wish to change it in any shape, way, or form. And may both of you, in the measure of time that is yours together, by much joy in the small things of living. Amen. We're coming to the end of our ceremony with our pronouncement. And after the kiss, I will invite you all to stand for a final benediction that will conclude the ceremony. So for as much as you, Christina, and you, Emilio, have consented together in wedlock and have pledged yourselves each unto the other in the presence of God and this presence of your family and your friends, I do now, by virtue of the authority vested in me, pronounce that you are husband and wife. And Emilio, you may kiss you. <laughs> and I invite you to stand for our benediction. May all blessings attend you. May joy pervade your lives together. And may your home be forever a place of peace and true fulfillment. Amen. Amen. And if you want to join hands and go in peace. peace. That's Thank it. You. <laughs>
myself into Out of the red, out of her head she sang
and gentlemen, we'd like everybody to please take their seats. Everybody, please have a seat, find your tables. Welcome to the jungle, everyone. Literally. We want everybody to have an amazing time tonight. But first, we need to bring out two very, very, very special people. They are the reason why we are all here tonight. It is my honor to introduce to you, for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Manzullo. Put your hands together and make a lot of noise. A lot of noise. Now to start off the dancing, they've chosen a lovely song. So the Luzulos would like everybody to please join with them on the dance floor. Don't be shy. Let's go with everybody on the dance floor. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to hand the microphone over to Frank Carlisi. This is the bride's brother. Put your hands together for Frank. Thank you, Frank, by the bride, please come here. All right, all right, all right. Thank you. First of all, I'd just like to say thank you, uh, everybody, for coming tonight uh, in a very interesting venue, which is awesome. I I do this for a living, and I have to say this is one of the best weddings I've been to in a long time because you have to see gorillas, uh, which is awesome, uh, and an awesome performance by the groom. Which round of applause for. Yes. The only problem that I have is that he needs to do a couple more, but I'm going to give him a few drinks and try to make that happen. Uh, now, I just want to say, um, you know, uh, sincerely to the bride and the groom, uh, this is a very special night. Um, you know, my sister, I've been through a lot with her, and uh, we've all been through a lot together. Um, and I'm just happy to see that smile on her face that I know Amelia brings her, which means a lot to me and my family. So, uh, so much love to both of them. Uh, raise your glasses, guys, to the beautiful bride and groom, and welcome this evening. Everybody enjoy, have a great night, and as we say in Italian, Centani. Okay, now, the groom's brother, Mario Renzulo, to the microphone, please. Put your hands Good evening, everyone. Ladies, gentlemen, monkeys, and gorillas. I'm Mario, Emilio's brother. When Emilio and I were growing up, our mother used to take videos of us at the most inopportune moments, like when we were sleeping, waiting in line for a baseball game, or unwrapping gifts for Christmas. But it's, it's too bad that we didn't get the moment after Christmas when we had to give her the Christmas tree 
So we threw it from the fifth floor of the building out the window. <laughs> now that was something. And probably illegal. <laughs> we used to always think that those videos were useless and they were a bit shaky, kind of blurry. And uh, now looking back 20 years later, I realized that those videos aren't useless and that there aren't any ordinary moments in life. And one day you'll walk back into this same zoo exhibit and everything will be gone and silent, but the energy of this moment will always be with you. Uh, growing up, my brother and I used to share the same room and he would always play the guitar and be kind of loud and sometimes the neighbors would complain. <laughs> now think about music. Music doesn't care what people think of it. Music just is what it is, and it plays regardless of what's happening in the environment around it. We like music because it's better to be hated for who you are than to be loved for who you're not. Amelia and Christina met through online dating, and in the process of finding love, you have to make yourself vulnerable. You have to find yourself because you attract the person that you are. Therefore, when you found yourself, you found love because they're the same. I haven't always been my best self, but my brother always saw the best in me. And I see that he sees the best in his friends too, and the best in Christina. And now you see me standing here as the best man, and you see that I've given you everything I've got. I've given you my best. Congratulations. Okay, now we have the groom's cousin, Enrico Sabatillo, to the microphone. Put your hands together for Enrico. Thank you. Wow. Mario, what a speech. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, thank you to Christina's family for welcoming us here. Uh, thank you for my family for being on time. <laughs> you know, clear direction. You really needed us here an hour before. Perfect. Perfect timing. I, I can't tell you how happy I am for the two of you. Look how beautiful Christina looks tonight. Yes. Yes. So growing up with Emilio, for those who don't, who don't know me, I'm Enrico, Emilio's cousin. Growing up with Zia Mariella, and if anyone doesn't know who Zia Mariella is, she's in the corner over here with the box of tissues. <laughs> And something that would always go around and around in our heads growing up was first you go to the school, then you go to the college, then you get to the girl, you get to married, and then you have the children. Oh. So, Christina, please do not leave your glass near Zay Mariella tonight because she may roof you with some pretty <laughs> So, so I, I can't tell you how happy I am for the two of you. And it's really, it's an honor for me to be here. And I just wish you health, happiness, good fortune. I love you very much. Welcome to our family. Thank you so much. Thank you. Give me, give me a kiss. Okay, uh, for those of you who know what a hashtag is, I'm supposed to announce the hashtag.